Well, we know it's uh, raining here. Where's the uh, mobile storm track? It's supposed to be behind me. There it is. There's the proof it's still raining around Albany. This is I-90. Um, and, you know, it's been uh, well, one of those afternoons. Be careful on the roadways. But we do expect things to be drying out just a little bit tonight. And uh, this is so fitting, Lydia, after your story at Paris Island with the Marines. Um, the moving wall, as we know, has come to the Capital Region. This is always truly an honor for us to have it here in our backyard. It's at Tower Sentha Park in Gilderland. If you know how to get to the Altamont Fair, you can't miss it. You get on 146 off of Route 20, and it's on the left about a half a mile down. I had the chance to stop on by there, take a couple of pictures, and it's a very humbling and moving experience. Uh, um, you know, take some time this weekend. It'll be here till Monday. Take some time to stop by. In honor of those that made the ultimate sacrifice, 58,220 heroes sacrificed their lives in Vietnam, and every single name is on that wall. So, folks, again, that's a place you, you really, really should make it a point to, to stop and visit. Fifth annual Blue Ribbon Run to benefit the Children's Foundation. This is a great fundraiser. Five years, it gets bigger every year. 40 vendors, nine to three. Tim and I will be there. The ceremony begins at 10 a.m. There's 40 vendors that will be there. Lots of fun stuff going on for the kids. Uh, it's off of Bridge Street, just south of the Mohawk River. Before you go over the bridge into Amsterdam, it's on the left. So if you're looking for something to do tomorrow, and the weather should hold out. That will be a fun thing as well. All right, 50. At Glens Falls, 51, Saratoga, upper 40s to near 50 through western New England, 49 at uh, Lake Pleasant. Check in with the uh, weather watchers tonight, Indian Lake, 49, uh, 51 from Jim Delahanty in uh, Hebron, Jim Glockner, 51 in Greenfield Center, 50 at Caroga Lake. Fairly cool today. You know, temperatures really did not vary a great deal because of the clouds and wet weather. 49 at Clifton Park, Dwaynesburg 46, 45 at Wyndham, Lucille Heinz and Rosendale 51, right at 50 in Pittsfield and Windsor up in the Berkshires at 44. Rain now shifting mostly east of the Hudson River. Washington, Rensselaer County is getting the steadiest and most significant rain now south into Columbia County. This is eventually going to clip the Berkshires and uh, southern sections of Vermont. Now, here's what we have to deal with for the weekend. Kind of in between here for tomorrow morning, those clouds will thin out. It's this cold front back over Wisconsin that's going to swing through, and that means business tomorrow night with a big weather change for colder air coming in on Sunday. So tomorrow, some morning sun, band of scattered showers, some thunder, afternoon, evening, and then the old pinwheel effect. Watch this, rotating right over us on Sunday. A pocket of cold air is going to produce some showers. Cold enough in the Adirondacks and the Vermont mountains for some wet snow. Rain ends this evening, 44. Tomorrow, some sun, then clouding up. Late afternoon showers or a thunderstorm, a high near 67. Chilly on Sunday, a few showers, 52. Mostly cloudy Monday, 58, and then it gets better. 70 on Tuesday. Wednesday, partly sunny and 80. Some showers, a thunderstorm Thursday, 74, and still some showers on Friday and a high of 72. Next week promises to be the way it's supposed to. Heard this from you before.